the students in the chapter 6 first what we have seen about the mountains old mountain block mountain and volcanic mountain and its examples also you have seen in this part we are seeing the plateaus and plains and why these plateaus are important and plains are important those things we are discussing in this part plateaus a plateau is an uplifted landmass with steep sides and relatively flat surface it rises abruptly from adjoining areas the most well known plateaus of the world are comparatively old though some are new the height of the plateaus varies from few hundred meters to several thousand meters the deccan plateau in india is one of the oldest plateaus on the basis of their geographical location plateaus are of different types continental plateau which rises abruptly from the adjoining areas example chota nagpur plateau intermontane plateau they are formed in between the mountain ranges for example tibetan plateau peatmont plateau they develop in the foot of the mountains for example patagonia plateau of argentina there may be several waterfalls in the plateau areas as the river falls from a great height jog falls in karnataka is an example of such waterfalls sometimes plateaus are also found under oceans like seychelles plateau trivia coastal plains are a geological features found around the world and on both the eastern and western coasts of india coastal plains are characterized by an area of flat low lying land that is situated adjacent to a water body often a sea or ocean it is also noteworthy that coastal plains are separated from the interior of the larger landmass by other unique features coastal plains have limited vegetation however grasses and trees are not uncommon the coastal plains of india are relatively expansive regions which contribute significantly to the geography of the region plains the flat low lying area of land is called a plain most plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries the rivers bring sand silt and clay from higher elevation and deposit the same at lower elevations the plains formed by the depositional work of running water are called alluvial plains the indo gangetic plain is an example of alluvial plain plains are also formed by the movement of glaciers and wind generally plains are very fertile and support a huge population no wonder they are very thickly populated regions of the world some of the largest plains made by the rivers are found in asia and north america high concentration of people in plains is due to availability of land for building houses as well as the fertile area for cultivation of crops people have been living in all types of landforms since the beginning of their evolution but a closer look at our history suggests that rivers were the cradles of civilization as civilizations flourished near river valleys life is difficult in mountainous areas it is easier to grow crops build houses and roads factories and transport network in a plain than on a mountain however people also live in plateaus forest areas areas of volcanic eruptions and earthquake prone areas in such areas natural calamities cause great damages and destructions to the life and property of the people it is important to be vigilant of our environment and to understand the impact of changing climate we should make sincere efforts to keep the environment clean and cut down the use of resources we should avoid using such important gifts of nature in a careless manner dear students in this chapter we have discussed about the mountains and the different mountains and plateaus and plains and important plateaus and plains in the world those things we have seen you go through the textbook and read carefully and do the exercise and write down the question answers in your notebook